Hello everyone, this is DB0 for the second match of the finals of the Board Game Geek Tournament. With me is Cordon once again. Hello people. And um, we're going to see the Orange Devil attempt to win the game before Wayland scores even two points. Um, unfortunately, Wayland uh, in the last game had the inner mishit had amazing luck by uh, hitting the five points from R&D exactly the turn he decided to run it. So uh, it gives, uh, at the moment it makes the uh, Orange Devil as a criminal have a really tough uh, game. He really needs to go all out and try to uh, uh, win before the uh, Wayland player even scores even two points. Um, What do you think, uh, Gordon? What's the chances here? I think this. I think this is gonna be very hard. This is gonna be very, very hard because um, anything like two hostile takeovers can win him the the tournament right now. Yeah. Um, one port. Oh, there he is, a port Dactylus. If he manages to like get an end of the run ice, plop it behind and just risk. Mm -hmm. On the other um, hand. Oral Devil has a decent hand, and this is a really a testament, a test to his skills now. If he actually manages to uh, uh, make a comeback in this game, he's going to go to the probably to the tiebreaker. I don't think he can actually win this. If he actually wins, it's okay, mad respect. Um, but if he doesn't, and he gets in the tiebreaker, we may actually see the finals match we were expecting. Right, three <laughs> tokens of the Draco, that's an interesting choice. Uh, usually people don't bother to put more than one against criminal because uh, ninja can anyway reach it. But uh, yeah, but then it, there's always the farm that might drop the table, and then suddenly your Draco is uh, useless again. So yeah. if you have the money, I guess. Yeah. Um, I know what Orange Devil is going to do next turn. I can tell you already he's going to desperado corroder and start pushing R and D like crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He may even go Ninja and uh, Siphon first, so to make sure that the corporation doesn't have any money. But he's probably going to go, yes, Corroder and start running like crazy in R&D until the uh, corporation puts another ice on R&D and then he's going to go, okay, account Siphon and keep running R&D. Mm, I'm curious to see if he's going to put the chum anywhere. Definitely in front of Draco. There we go. That is the absolute best place to put a charm. Because many people say, okay, I'm not going to break Draco, I'm just going to uh, uh, fight your trace. But with charm, you can't do that anyway. Problem is, with Draco, it would be much better if, if uh, uh, Draco had four strength, because then Ninja would require two boosts to break with a charm. Mm -hmm. So there we go. And, and the Corroder, the and there we go. And with the last click. However, if you see the snare now, He's the uh, actually ah, he's not he's not he's one not. he only has one credit so he's safe. No score here. And the corporation is down to only end game ice and uh, he's kind of getting desperate here. He really needs to put some economy out and oh here comes oh, the oh, maker's oh. eye. And he's not going to use it if yet. I think he's gonna leave it. Or I think no, I, I think he doesn't want to hit a snare and die like that. Yeah. Um, because the problem is, if he hits a snare, uh, he will lose his ninja and his account siphon. So he's just he's keeping it for next turn. Yeah, it seems. He's probably going to play it safe. He doesn't think he may hit a snare yet. So he's just going to hit to play it safe and reduce his chances. Okay. Yeah, probably what he cares about right now is to just keep seeing the top card of R&D, just yes. to make sure nothing is slipping through. Yes. And still more endgame ice. Fortunately, Nermis can't actually do anything at the moment. He just has to keep earning money. He can't even play the ice that he draws to protect his R&D. Fair play there. He's probably not going to use it for a while. And he's in a job. He's gonna try drawing into an FAO, maybe. The thing is, now he has a set of cards, he probably doesn't wanna. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. So now he has the money if he needs to uh, uh, remove the tag afterwards. 
And of course, if mm. the corporation snares him, um, if the corporation snares him, then the corporation is going to be back to almost no money. Of course, the problem, the I biggest think... problem at the moment is the sea source. If uh, the corporation draws a sea source. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. Um, he, so he trashes the corporate troubleshooter. And an aggressive secretary. And an aggressive secretary. And nothing. nothing. That's pretty unlucky. No, but it's decent. It's decent. It makes sure that the corporation is not drawing uh, any of his uh, traps, any of his eyes that he can actually trap him behind. And now the throttle is going to go probably in front of R&D. Mm -hmm. It's also, he may also try to put that Roto Turret and play the agenda. Yes, he's going to go for that, but he's going to lose the agenda if he actually plays it because the uh, uh, Oras Devil does have his inside job. Unfortunately, Oras Devil is actually quite low on money at the moment. And the reason also why he trusts both assets is that he means that in this turn he can again run R&D, he can see another yeah, agenda exactly. uh, card. However, luck, yes, finally, uh, he hits an agenda, now he can run again. This card is a uh, priority, hostile takeoff is exactly what he wants to score. He doesn't want the corporation to actually get any uh, hostile takeovers. But at the moment, he's uh, so back on money that um, one has to wonder if the corporation actually plays a big guys and start advancing, uh, how is uh, Orange Devil going to get in? Um, that's a very good question. I'm, I wonder if he plans to actually secure his R&D a bit. Um, if he doesn't, ah, there we go. Yeah, I think he's going it's, to it's play... Very hard. He just needs the Atlas to win the game, so it's... I'm betting it's very, very tempting to just press his luck with that and go for that. Okay, Or the Devil decides to just get the money this turn and probably preparing for a run in HQ. So I'm suspecting that uh, he's going to go Ninja, uh, Account Siphon, and then remove the tags. Finally, Wayland gets his money. So he can start playing the big stuff. Of course, if the Quayland goes now with a Troto turret and attempts to uh, score the uh, Atlas behind it... Uh, um, he, put the t he put the toll booth down. Yeah, sorry. Um, he's, he's still holding the Roto turret, so he could place the Roto turret in front? Yes, he can, but uh, I don't think it will be enough to protect him from an, in from an inside job. Oh, will it? Yeah, it will be. He has just enough money uh, uh, unless he gets account siphon first. So if uh, the runner goes account siphon, um, he can actually steal the agenda. So it would have been nice if he actually played that atlas down, because uh, next turn the, cor the runner wouldn't be able to siphon and uh, run that remote without being open to dying from scorched earth. So he should have played that atlas in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, let's see now though. Well, that's cheap. It's only cost him uh, one credit to break through ev effectively. And uh, then he's just going to remove the tag. So that's a pretty good swing for Oran Devil at the moment. Let's see if he's going to... Yep. Oh. oh, oh, he's lost. He's lost. He lost the game. He lost the game. He lost the game. <laughs> he didn't bet on the corporation having two scored starts. Ouch. 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 Oh. Uh, the thing is, actually... Yeah. Yep. No. He, there's no chance. No chance. No, he shouldn't have done it. Uh, the finals were pretty quick. The finals were quicker than expected, but in this case it was Warren's Devil Axe fault. I don't know why he got so rushy there. Desperate, maybe? Yeah, he's uh, disappointed a bit. Yeah. So, what better end to a criminal Wayland tournament than a flatline, right? Yep. And uh, also, 
a full victory from the uh, corporation, uh, from the one player, 6-0. That was uh, yeah, yeah. That was pretty unexpected. Yeah. I think he meant she would have drawn the hostile takeover. I don't know. Um, it's easier to speak when you're not playing, but I think that risk was a bit. Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, he, he wouldn't mind the tie. Even a tie is not that bad. Yeah. When you lose, you lost so bad. Uh, he was unlucky in the first game. Yeah, he was definitely. Actually, I wouldn't say that he was unlucky. Uh, Inermis was unlucky, and he and the uh, Orange Devil got did get a bit greedy. Um, he knew he wasn't drawing any agendas, so he knew the agendas were coming. To be fair, he should have protected the R&D earlier. He should have uh, put yeah. something in front of R&D to make to discourage the runner from just playing that fame and running completely. You need to take luck into account in such situations. I've seen many games that it's luck, but you have to you you have to work with that in mind. Always, always, um, yeah. And in this yeah, case, yeah, I mean, uh, he 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 did a fairly solid bet. He said, okay. I bet that the corporation doesn't have two scorched earth in 20 cards. And unfortunately, not even, not even 20, uh, no, 17 cards. And unfortunately, he did lose that bet. Yeah. Um, he was playing a bit blind because he was locked out of the hand pretty fast. But he, was, um, he wasn't locked out at all. That ninja was breaking through the, the uh, Draco for one credit effectively. Run. Yeah, that's true. Once per round. He, he preferred to see R&D. The thing is that um, he didn't get to ever raid the hand. He didn't get to see those two uh, uh, Scorched Earths. He was running R&D every turn, so he knew that any scor no Scorched Earths scor scor had actually come up. So, I see where he's coming from. Still, it wasn't that bad of a position because he, he may have had access to the remote. Um, he was against the wall, that is true. Yeah. Um, and it's very hard to, to speak when you're not actually playing it's, and you don't have the, the nerves pressing on you. Yeah, yeah. So let me see if the guys are up for an interview.